Hi everyone, Phil from Seahorse Kentuckys. Today we're going to look at the operation of the drag rubber and how to use it correctly. We have had a couple of people recently who have struggled to work out how it works, so we'll cover those points and hopefully you'll learn something from this. When you come to launch your Kentucky, the first thing to do is to remove the pin. So we pull that out of the drum and we clip it onto the frame at the back of the winch. That way you won't lose it in the sand because that is the most important part of the winch. With the pin out, your drum will free wheel quite happily on the shaft. It's a very low drag system which enables the Kentucky to go out as far as it can. But when we're launching and going up through the surf, putting the hooks on, we need some drag to slow the drum down when the pull comes off. So what we do is we take the drag rubber and we just drop it down into the gap between the drum and the bush. And with the drag rubber down in that gap, it adds a level of drag. And as you can see, as soon as the pull comes off, the drum slows down. Some people find that doesn't give them quite enough drag on their winch. So what they do is they actually pull the base of the drag rubber up round the frame. That pulls the drag rubber tighter, which even adds more drag and more control. Once you've got your hooks on and your Kentucky is going out through the waves, or got out beyond the waves, you can then pull the drag rubber up and out. So it's out of the gap, the drum will free wheel or the way out and allow you Kentucky to get out as far as it can. Once it stops, we then take the D-pin again, put it back into the hole, clip it in, and that engages the motor to stop the tide pulling the line out. So if you have any questions or queries, give us a call at Seahorse and we'll be able to help you. Cheers and good fishing.